some plays. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. They will take that any day of the week. Um, And so looking a little further down the line, uh, who do you have as being the guy to have the best impact, you know, long-term impact, maybe not starting, you know, as a freshman, but by the end of his career, we look back and we go, this was the best guy in this class. For sure. So I took a look at, uh, uh, I, I hope I'm pron- pronouncing his name correctly. <laughs> it's Tian Nunley, Nunley, something like that. Uh, he's a six foot two receiver from California. Uh, he's he's been pretty lengthy for a while on the on the football field. He's always kind of been over six foot. Uh, he's still kind of gaining muscle at the time right now in the senior season. Uh, the thing that it really interests me about him uh, out the gate is that he, he runs pretty well in open field. Yeah, uh, I, I definitely he, saw that. He, yeah, he he uses his frame to his advantage in open field and kind of he he kind of uses his body to truck over defenders and I see him as a potential, you know, Tay Martin replacer in the future. Uh they got they got a similar body size for sure. Uh, I think he's going to be mm-hmm. a little bit of a project for WSU considering yeah, we have numerous receivers coming in and still some veteran receivers left on the team. I think he's going to be a little bit of a work in progress just based off of looking at him right now, but I, he may even go through another growth spurt for all I know. He may be 6'4 by the time he gets to Pullman. Yeah. Um, but it, he definitely needs to get a little bit bigger for FBS football. Oh, and yeah. he needs to kind of build his frame up a little bit. If he's going to be anything like Tay Martin or if he had, he had has that growth spurt and he gets to Desmond Patman size, <laughs> like, you know, that's, that's a project that I think the Cougs should – really take advantage of and uh plus if i can figure out a way to say his name correctly it's going to be fun to say if we're just you know talking about him in general conversation but i i like dc on a lot Mm -hmm. yeah i agree you know i i liked watching some of his highlights uh i i agree with what you said the speed is definitely there you know for a six three guy to be making these breaking just huge plays down the field or, or busting tackles and just beating guys down the sideline. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Um, you know, I agree that he needs to, you know, bulk up, get a little bit bigger, uh, which, you know, can be said for most high school guys in general, unless they come in, right. you know, just ready to play. So that's what a, a redshirt freshman year is for. Um, the only kind of knock that I had looking at him is, um, I didn't see much blocking on his highlights, which, you know, it's mm-hmm. not the flashiest thing, but usually college coaches like to see that. The only block that I really saw was a crackback block on like a kickoff. So, you know, how relevant is that? And, you know, I don't know what, you know, we haven't seen uh, Nick Rolovich's offense on the field here in Pullman. I don't, I, I mean, I assume he wants his receivers to block. I don't know how important that'll be. I don't know if, you know, he's going to need to be, you know, one of the best blockers on the field to, to be able to play. but that's also something, you know, that, that could come with time and definitely with strength. Um, the guy that I looked at, uh, that I kind of picked for this is another receiver, um, Orion or Orion Peters. Again, not know how to say it, not necessarily, not, uh, not nearly as difficult as the guy you picked. Um, but this was absolutely my favorite guy to watch. Um, I, you know, I, I kind of went through, was taking notes on a bunch of players. I didn't take that many notes on him. I just had fun enjoying his tape you know he's a receiver but he's you know 510 he's a lot smaller he looks like the perfect slot receiver for you know the old wcu offense and hopefully the new wcu offense you know i assume them you know the run uh, to be a little bit of the same but i mean i just watching his tape was incredible you know he was you know burning guys down the field on these long plays he was taking screens you know and juking everybody out and taking those up the sideline um you know, he looks really similar to Travell Harris or Jameer Calvin that I've had a lot of success here, you know, with those little tunnel screens that they used to love. Um, so I just, I mean, anytime you, you watch a guy's, you know, it is highlights, you know, I don't get to see everything he's doing. Um, but I don't know, I, I just, just watched and, and just enjoyed it. You know, I think he can maybe not come in immediately because of the depth at that slot receiver position, you know, with Harris and Calvin and Bell and, you know, they've got a lot of guys in there, but I think, you know, this is a guy that, you know, even if he only gets you know, two years as a starter, I think he can make a lot of plays and maybe he's the kickoff returner as a freshman and he's not necessarily getting as many targets, 
on the offensive game. But this is somebody that I think Nick Rolovich is looking at and just waiting till he gets him on the roster and be able to use him as a weapon all around. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to him learning from Travell and Renard Bell for sure, uh, especially from Travell's standpoint because I I know one of my favorite receivers mm-hmm. on the Cougs has definitely been Travell these past couple of years, and it, it, Travell has been a great kick return for us uh, as well. So if uh, I, you got to pronounce his name one more time for me, what's his name? It it's either Orion or Orion. I'm not exactly sure, but. Either one. Yeah, I think it's Orion. Okay. Um, but he looks awesome. Okay, so Orion or Orion, uh, if he does end up on that special teams unit as a kick returner, mm-hmm. uh, learning from Travell either at the slot or kick returner, I I kind of look at Travell uh, Harris to kind of look after this guy when he comes up for sure. Yeah, he he looks like um, a version of Travell. Like there's one play where he made you know. He juked one guy out, ran up the field, juked another guy out. Like he looks, uh, he look. It looks like one of those plays where Travell 